Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we together are going to be jumping into the Bitcoin chart and I will be explaining to you my current trading position, the target for this trade and how I'm expecting this to go over the next few days. Ladies and gentlemen, you are going to absolutely love this video as not only will I be going over my current trading target, I will also be covering some educational sides of these trades so you can really truly grasp and start to understand what is going through my mind while I'm looking at these charts. Ladies and gentlemen, special episode. And without further said or do, let's get into what we love, and that is trading. So bringing it back to what we were looking at yesterday. Uh, in yesterday's video, we were actually right here on the Bitcoin chart, uh, making it fairly early. And we obviously at that time were bouncing around the middle of our trading channel. And we obviously knew we had our resistance at around 47,900. OK, and we were looking up to that as our channel high resistance. And we obviously had our channel lowest support. And obviously my overall trading bias over this range is, is a bullish one. So you can probably guess the position I'm in right now. But what I want to do is very briefly just explain to you uh, what happened here. OK, we obviously didn't reach uh, quite, you know, we, we we're talking about a, a matter of we missed 47,900 by 0.28%. So barely anything. What is the reason and what could have you looked out for to recognize actually this is reaching into resistance and it's not going to be going higher here. We zoom into the five minute chart. Do not worry. I am going to explain everything here. What I want to do first is show you what happens here. So, um, you know, if you always one of these sort of updates in the group, this is what I was recognizing was happening at the time yesterday. So as we were coming back into this high here, what we can do is simply take a Fibonacci from the high to this low. And we could, you know, and I hope you all know this one by now, we were into the CC. So what else did we have as confluence then? Because we recognize that's the CC, but what else was a factor of why we rejected where we did? Well, this high here, we done a swing failure pattern by literally a few dollars. So we had a swing failure pattern onto the CC, but not only that, this is what I was showing you over on Twitter. So it's obviously into that CC we're rejecting. But what also happened here, CC, swing failure pattern, and this. And this is what we call trapped longs. So you see, as you're approaching these highs, the volume is increasing steadily. We're seeing, well, 35 million on this candle, 91 million, 22 million, 217 million. If you look at the delta, they're all positive deltas. This is the open interest increases. We can see on these, you know, three candles alone, we're almost seeing 25 million. So 25 million new longs opening into that CC. So what do we expect after that? After it's all coming together, it's all coming together. 25 million trap longs, swing failure pan into the CC on Eagle time. Well, it's like I was saying on, on the tweet, we obviously have to expect downside from there. And what did we get? Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we got downside. Okay, there's actually one other factor that we could have said is a confluence of I mean, we were obviously we were very interested in shorting this region. It's the top at the top of the channel. But what was another factor of confluence that you had to be aware of? And that is obviously a CCV setup. So, yes, yesterday you had a CCV setup um, and that target was forty five thousand six hundred and forty eight dollars. So remember this forty five thousand six hundred and forty eight. That is the CCV target that we had activated from the time of posting for it to be actually hit. It took about six hours. So you had plenty, plenty, plenty of time on this one. Um, but once that activated, if we just add on the target here, you can see uh, the target there. 45,648 as reminding my team at the time. So I did post that in the morning though to make them aware of it. But once it activated, we had to remember 45,648. Okay. So you see 45,648 here. So just to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, as we were coming into this high, we obviously the, the main thing here that we had to react from is what was the sign that it's not going to push it, you know, 0.28% higher. So it's the fact that it ended in a swing fair pound with the track longs on eagle time. Yeah, you see that you have to react. Doesn't matter your bias, doesn't matter what you think or want. You've got to react to that chart. And from that, we obviously activate our, our CCV setup with our 45648 target. Well, as you all probably know by now, that's a 45648 target well and truly did hit. And I will show you something very interesting here. So we obviously hit it here. OK, we hit it right here and we got a bit of a bounce off of this. And let me remind you, ladies and gentlemen, this bounce lasted uh, two hours, five minutes. And before we took the low one more time, four hours, 20. So imagine in this time, what are people going to be doing? Yep, they've seen the bounce. They've, they're maybe thinking to themselves, hey, we've hit the CCV target from here. It's only up. And this is where 
<laughs> this is where being a market maker, this is where understanding how the market works, let's just say that is truly advantageous. Let's just say that. So this, you need to get into my mind. You need to understand what I'm thinking. What am I thinking at this moment in time? I am thinking to myself, <laughs> I'm making this clear in the group that personally, wait for the swing failure pattern. And this is the exact picture that I posted in my group. So I'd recognize we've hit that CCV target and we're probably going to get a bit of a bounce to be fair. We're probably going to get a bit of a bounce, but this is the bounce to look for one more move to the downside to swing failure pattern this low and then get the bounce underway. Oh, I hope you can see how absolutely I want to say it's invaluable, but it's absolutely massively valuable to have that posted in the group. <laughs> You know, once you've seen me post that, you're going to be thinking twice about taking your next position. No, I think most people are probably going to think, hey, Daniel's Daniel's correct. Let's just let's just wait for him. Um, I don't know. You can do what you want, but it's not often I'm wrong. And obviously, I'm telling my group, wait for the swing failure pattern. Wake up this morning with a once again, exactly as predicted. And I have to do it, ladies and gentlemen. I know we're as serious in this video. I know we're absolutely serious, but this is it. This is the meme that we love. Swing failure pattern. Shh unlimited power <laughs> i love that i love that shout out to the champion who made that but there we go 78 percent up on the long thank you very much uh you know people let's just say very 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 happy with that reminder or well, not reminder but basically just telling me exactly what i thought was going to happen yesterday wait for the swing failure pattern there we go posted yesterday at 10 p.m and yeah well people obviously absolutely love it we've been waiting a little while and yeah from the from the unlimited power, <laughs> well, exactly as predicted. What can we say? What can we say? Let's zoom out and show you what here has absolutely happened. Exactly as predicted. Yes, there is the swing failure pattern, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly on one a.m. Uh, who knows what that could be? And we obviously got a bounce here with the swing failure pattern. Look at that, just absolutely perfect swing failure pattern of the low, increase in price and. I'll give you two guesses what we retested. Oh man, it's it's a hard life. It's a hard life. For the people that missed the swing failure pattern, guess what you could have bought the retest? Look at this, the CCV target. Oh, isn't that special? Isn't that special? Coming down to retest that for this lovely bounce underway. So there we go. Looking for the swing failure pattern. We got the retest really, and then a very big, a very big increase in price. And as you can see, we're getting a very big increase in price here. Very nice indeed, if I say so myself, up to $47,000 right now. So um, for me personally, this is a take profit one. Uh, naturally, for me, I've, you know, it's already above my take profit one. For me, it was just simply coming back above these highs. I've locked in my take profit one, stop loss to entry, and today is a very good day indeed. Um, obviously, would I like to see higher on this chart? Of course I would. Of course I would like to see higher on this Bitcoin chart. A few things that we can bear in mind here. Uh, first thing that I'm going to show you here, and here's a little bit of alpha for you. We have a lovely, we have a lovely, which much not people looking at, I don't think at the moment. We obviously have this parallel channel. OK, and if you look at this, yeah, look at it, look at it, look at it. We obviously have our lovely low, lovely high. And when we came down for that confluence with the swing fair pattern, we were also at the low. Obviously, I have here a take profit one of the middle of the channel and the top of this channel is coming. Well, it depends on the time we, we can envision that's going to come in at around well, forty seven thousand nine hundred dollars. OK, so naturally, uh, one does have a target for the top of the channel and I will just continue to trade this channel. Obviously. I personally hit my long because it's exactly what I was predicting was going to happen and it happened. So naturally, I'm always going to take that long at the very low. Um, so I have got the long from the absolute low. On the retest, many people on the group got in on the retest. So fair enough. From here, though, it's take profit one, looking for the channel high. Where could be this sign of weakness? Where could be, well, you know, I'm happy to say, like, where, are, where would I be incorrect that this is going higher? Well, I would say personally, if we come back down and lose really 45,500, if we come back below that, my idea, I would say, is invalidated. Well, not necessarily invalidated, but, but a lot less probable. We always have to speak in probabilities. And so I would say it's most probable that we're hitting my, tar my, 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 my secondary target here, which is simply the top of the channel. But should we lose support 
I acknowledge, hey, this is no longer the most probable. I'm no long. I'm not going to be sat in my lungs thinking, oh, oh, I said it on a YouTube video. I need to, you know, I need to stick by this. And I can't change my opinion. No, if we lose support, I will change happily change my opinion and say it's no longer probable we're going to the top of the channel. Okay, I'm, I'm not held to anything that I say on these videos. So yeah, that's kind of my thought process at the, at the moment. I am in a long. I'm, I'm not in a short. So I'm not in a short at the moment. I am in a long. I have hit take profit one, and I am looking for the top of this channel. Should we lose support? then that most probable, in my opinion, is no longer the most probable. And I will have to adapt my trading strategy based off of that. But for now, everything is looking good. We're seeing a de decent uh, increase in price here. And, uh, you know, one would look to look to, uh, you know, abide by the strength, at least to the top of the channel. And then, of course, ladies and gentlemen, it's the same as yesterday. Should we break the top of this channel, we can be looking up towards our, you know, $48,000, $49,000, sorry. Uh, next level and should we break you know should we break this channel low then we obviously can be looking back down towards this lower daily so we have two uh, dailies above us obviously around that fifty thousand dollars ish and around 44 you know forty four thousand three hundred ish so we have an upper boundary daily we have a lower boundary daily and we currently just have this really nice respected um, parallel channel um yeah, so so uh, yeah, that, that that's kind of the update that I had for you here. It was originally. I hope you've I hope you've l enjoyed it and learnt from it. it all, see, all originally starts with the um, you know the, the the rejection that we had there, based off of also the CCV setup coming down to hitting the CCV setup target. Okay, and then I mean this is just the absolute alpha alpha male speaking. We have the absolute brilliant call of. Do not long yet. Although we've hit the target, don't long yet. Wait for the swing failure pattern. And then we wake up with once again unlimited power from a swing failure pattern. Um, and then from here, we got our lovely channel to trade. Naturally, this is a nice take profit one. EG, for the people that don't understand, take profit one means once you've hit take profit one, move the stop loss to entry. And should this fall off a cliff to the downside, you have guaranteed yourself money and guaranteed yourself profit. That's what you want at the end of the day. It's not about being right and wrong. It's about making money. Okay, we're in this game to make money. So naturally looking for the top of the channel should we break it i know the levels i'm then looking for to the upside should we break down i know what the levels i'm looking for to the downside overall this is a little bit of a downsloping channel but uh, you know we can very we can you know it's, it's 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 you can trade this as a horizontal channel at the end of the day ladies and gentlemen uh that's what i will say so if you've enjoyed this video you know what to do absolutely smash the likes if we hit let's say 2000 likes i will go and do a free public live stream for you so if you want to see a live stream from me where i will talk you through what is happening at the time maybe give you an update of this range or should we have broken down or broken up i will give you my opinion on where we are going next if you want to see that smash that like button as hard as you can if you want to see these sort of updates live in the time as it's happening way before it's happened let's just say hours in advance before it's happened like somebody was saying over yeah when you when, when you know when you know you absolutely do know and it was like this guy said i i just i just echo echo the people that were absolutely loving what we are teaching there you go predicting three hours in advance yeah, if you want to see that, that's obviously in the Champions group. Ladies and gentlemen, wait for the swing failure pattern. Get it, we do. And, you know, love life. Love life after that. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. You know, you know what I'm looking for next. And you know where I'm wrong. And if I'm invalidated, the levels I would be looking down towards next. And if I'm right, well, you know where I'm right. So, yeah, thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. And that's me signing out. Cheers and have a good day. Bye. Oh, no, actually... Not financial advice of course this video all of this video has not been financial advice this is an education entertainment video only i'm doing this video so you can learn not a financial advisor and you know do not do not uh, put money on the line on any of this so there you go with that said thank you ever so much have a good day and now me signing out goodbye <laughs>